Rosters are set. The puck is ready to be dropped. It's a hockey ultimate team challenge, and we are ready. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Senators get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Slittering deep, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Senators move to the offensive zone. Great save by Kincaid. The Senators will play it from the point. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Denies that opportunity. Puck picked up by Coleman. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. The Senators have it now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Quick shot, and that's stopped by Kincaid. Sends a pass over. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Known as an offensive defenseman, Eric Carlson has multiple Norris Trophy wins as a top defenseman in this league, guys. He's looking to add that to this Hub team in his very first game with this squad. Thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. And he makes the save on that play. Great pass from off the right side. Slides the puck down low. The Devils gain possession along the wall. Takes it into the slot. And he's knocked off the puck there. All alone! Scores! Puts it in the back of the net, and that's how you light the lamp! He lights the lamp as he buries that one, James. But he knows he has confidence, and he shows just that in that battle. Execution, that's how you do it. The Senators are up by one here in the back half of the opening frame after that strike. Uh, you know that the strategy has been one thing. Put the puck to the net, and they have owned the shot share in the opening frame. No question about it, James. Now they find themselves with a one-goal lead. they got to continue to press to see if they can extend it. Here they come on the attack. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Coughs it up at center. New Jersey's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. And he slides it quickly to Santini. Too much congestion blocks the shot. On their heels, trying to get it out of the run. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. No sense moving it ahead. The Senators have it from their own end. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Quick pass across to Wood. Sends the pass over. The Devils carry it along the wall. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. The Devils, Ben, showing some frustration there as they hit the post. Listen, when you're only down in the game by a little bit, you have to find a way to claw your way back in with a perfect chance right there to give them some momentum. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. 
Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Senators have the majority of shots in this one. It's a reason they're in the lead, James. But after the shot, they're also retrieving. So they've got their opponent right where they want him, on their heels. Picked up along the boards by CeCe. Sends the pass in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. The Senators have taken a 2-0 lead. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabolski. Well, this should be fun. Just an obnoxious amount of talent on the ice for this hunt challenge. The Blues start with possession as we are now underway. Centering in front. And that doesn't connect. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Moves it up. The Blues have it against the wall. Loses his balance on the play. And now it's grabbed by Laterra. He got all on the play. Cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Moves the puck into the attacking area. My goodness, what a save by LeBarberov. The Blues gain control of it. Close to the crease. Oh, what a stick save. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. The Blues gain possession in their own end. The Coyotes have it against the wall. Here he is in front! Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Schwartz wins the faceoff at his own end. Big time play right there. And he gets in front of that. Moves it to Laterra. He carries the puck up along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Chapman. The Blues will play it against the wall. Let's it fly. Oh, he scores! exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Blues draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one. They've got to wonder if it now opens the game up. Shot! Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. The Blues win the faceoff. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. Slides it diagonally to Doan. Schwartz has the puck against the half wall. Drives to the paint! It's in the back of the net for an own goal! Well, 
Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Blues extend the lead by two here in period number one. Well, I really like their play up to this point in the first period here, James. I mean, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. Battle along the wall. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Oh, and that closes them off against the wall. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Uses the force on that hit. And that pass goes off a stick. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Blues take over on possession. Here in the late goings of the period, the Blues have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Frozen Biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Puck sent over to Doan. The Blues looking against the half wall. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Works it across to Jackman. The home team is really under siege here in their own There. He just got railroaded. Close space so fast and just taken down. The tear is going to play it against the half wall. From the point, wide of the net. The real skill to be accurate. Scores! And they beat the buzzer and get one right here in the period. They always say, James, that to start a period and to finish periods at critical times, and they get one here. They go to the dressing room with a lot of momentum. Wow, power down on that bottom hand with a flick of his wrist on the backhand, James, and just put it chalk cheddar. The Blues have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Arizona's had a slow start to this game, James. They're going to have to pick it up in terms of possession time. They're giving their opponent way too many opportunities and a lot of time with the puck. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And his teammate comes up with it. Across the line from center. And makes the save. Now, Barbara has had a difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. And the puck's booted away. From the right side, they gain the zone. Moves it quickly over to Steen. Turn that chance aside. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. The Blues move it in. Fires it on net. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by the Barbara. The Blues lead in a big way.
What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. It's a hot challenge, and it's ready to go down. Opening face-off is just seconds away. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. because he's got such a silky set of hands, but they are fast, but then he also has the patience to go along with it. And because of it, he's able to deep the goaltender out and put it in the back of the net. Pittsburgh's on the board already. I don't think everybody's even found their seats yet to this one. Yeah, I just looked up for my notes here, James, and they'd scored. I mean, they just exploded out of the gate, and right off the hop, you can tell that they have their legs tonight. Let's see how much offense they can generate. I love it. Scooped up along the wall by Coffey. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Receives the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Devils will play it in their own end. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Danico. Grabbed along the board by McLean. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. The Devils get a hold of it. Quick pass to Stastny. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. You know the goal he styled in and he redirects the puck to the corner. And that one's turned away. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. The Devils played along the wing. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Recchi. Yager's got it along the boards. The Devils have the puck now. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Way mark of this period. Pittsburgh's up one zip. The Devils win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Taken by Recchi. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I would want to be on the score. his efforts but just fantastic hands to be able to pull the goaltender to the side that he wants and then to just lay it home he doesn't even have to elevate the puck he uses the low part of the net the Penguins are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one Cheryl they've been playing with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits you can tell that they worked on them and they talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period intercepts it in the neutral zone Here's a chance! Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Well, that's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. The Devils move the puck in the defensive zone. Poked away at center by Coffey. Fires it! Here's a shot! Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Takes the feed. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Shot! Tremendous stop by Terreri! 
Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make a save from a high danger area. Puck grab by Danico. Looking to make something happen at center. Good hit. Chauche's loving the puck. Trying to get 2 2 with it and loses possession. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Here they come on the rush. Takes a shot. He scores! And he completes the hat trick. Well, he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night, hasn't he, James? And man, do the fans appreciate him. Gotta love this goal. I mean, he's got the defender just twisted like a pretzel as he's manipulating and showing those silky mitts and then finally puts it away. Puck possession, so critical, another face-up. Off. Moves it to Housley. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Medano's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds it on over to Sinani. Locks him. Goes right to the crease. Oh, did I on the play? That's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Oh, James, I just love how he created that scoring chance. I mean, he saw a little bit of ice, and he knew exactly how to take it. Because of his edge work and how his hands can keep up with his feet, he just couldn't finish. 
Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Knocks the puck down with a stick. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. There's a collision. Picked up along the wall. Great save on the play. Oh, another big save. Skates with it. Cut into the page. Great save on the play. And it's picked up by the knee. And they skated out of the zone. And a quick take up right here. They come once again. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick feed to Courtnall. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kachuk. Levels him with the hit. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Well, I love this play and really the relentless will to shield the puck. I mean, it's not easy to ward off your opponent numerous times as you're getting pushed and shoved, James. He finds a way to do it, and he buries it. Winnipeg's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period, and you know, there has been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first four. Gotta hope that there's some more offense in this one. Score! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Past the midway mark in this period, we are all tied up in this one. Winnipeg's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. The Jets played along the boards. Drives it to the crease! The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Cardinal swooping in on the attack. Rocks him on the play. Moves the puck. Puts it on that big time stop by Moe. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Moves it quickly over to Solani. Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed. Well, there's a fine line between scoring and missing, and that's inches right there. A good release shot, but unable to get that net. Winnipeg's got possession here in the offensive zone. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the O zone. Dishes to Solani. Carries it. Oh, what a save there. All sorts of pressure here in the defensive zone. They are on their heels. Oh, there's some body contact. Loving's got it in the defensive end. The Jets ready to go on the attack. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, what a great save! Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly and sense an upward trajectory as this game's progress and they find the back of the net. I just love this play from start to finish. It's a complete play here, James, as he's getting jostled on the puck. But he's not moving. He's not budging. And all the while, while he's getting jostled, he's scanning, he's looking, and then he makes the play that leads to the goal. Winnipeg's not in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player. They score! And it's back to back talents! Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. I just love the way he's dangling in tight spaces here, James. He knows how to create space for himself 
than just enough to get to the goaltender and finish it off. Winnipeg's look great thus far, leading here late in the first period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Cardinals got him along the wing. Drills him. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Takes a slasher from the corner. Scores! And three is the magic number. There's the hat trick. And I think there's going to have to be an extra stoppage in play here as they collect all of the hats on the ice at home. You can just see the weight shift games there in that slap shot where he's able to just peg it as he walks into it and beats the goaltender low stick side. built themselves a large lead and there are still more than two periods to play here and they win that neutral zone draw gains the zone shot and there's the save takes a hit he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck and that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick directed over to Solani break away tight and when you're in tight you run out of room and you run out of option as well you gotta find a way to get the puck to the net quick feed to Ludwig and he takes the feed pinned up along the boards and it's poked away in the neutral so nice heads up play there There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two, stay with us. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in the second period about set to get underway. Here we go, lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Winnipeg's been capitalizing on their opportunities, but man, have they ever had the possession time, in particular in the offense. He scores! And he's not done yet! Oh, no, I mean, how many more are going to come now? James, the floodgates have opened. Well, they opened a long time ago, but that puck is following him around, and every chance he gets, he's bearing it. to show no signs of slowing down here in period number two. Yeah, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, James. They've been pushing and pressing all game long, and look at the scoreboard. It's the reason why they're ahead. Point blank stop by Mo. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Possession along the boards. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this. Oh, what a shot! He got a lot of one. I'm just tired watching that defender try and bounce and shove their opponent off of the puck. I mean, he's having nothing to do with it. He's having his way out there. And just when you think he's maintaining possession, he slides it over to his teammate who's able to execute for a tally. The Jets are playing what might be their most impressive performance that I've seen all season. And we're only at period number two, Sheriff. Yeah, I mean, their offense has simply exploded, hasn't it, James? I mean, they have been a force to be reckoned with, and it's a ton of fun when you're patting your stats. Big time hit along the fourth, and there's no give there. Well, there is, man. You can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Here's a shot. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Don't really click in here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Another big stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of him to get a stoppage in play. 
Both sides getting ready for this face-off, and Sherhoff can think of a keeper right now who would love that be more than another minute here. Well, he's extremely fatigued, right, James? And this is a critical juncture of the game. If you're on the offensive side of the puck, you want to continue to wear down your opponent because you know that this goaltender is fatigued, he's vulnerable, and you've got to find a way to capitalize on the opportunity. And he denied it there. Tremendous pressure here. zone down the right wing fires it into the offensive zone Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack he's got a step he scores a breakaway goal and we have seen this before from him yeah over and over again because of that incredible speed James that north south drive he's got it and he finishes it Just for having one of those nights, Cheryl, that 